Agent Workflow. We continue with the example of ABC Travels and Tours. Charisse is a customer service agent. She uses live chat to respond to customer queries. Let us observe how she responds to a customer's chat message. Once the user query is submitted in the queue, the current available agent will receive a notification to respond to the request. The agent may accept or decline the request. Accepting the request will take the agent to the chat window. If the agent declines the request, then the request will be forwarded to another available agent. The timer shows the time remaining to accept the request. If the request gets timed out after one minute, the agent will be notified to act on it once more. If the agent ignores the message request, the second time, the message gets transferred to another agent. In this case, Charisse is the available agent, so she gets a notification. She accepts the request. After accepting the user request, she can perform various tasks such as adding a representative, transfer to other representative and so on. For adding a representative, she clicks the Add Representative icon. A pop-up window appears, where she selects the desired representative and clicks Add. When she needs to transfer the request to another agent, she clicks the Transfer to Other Representative icon. Another pop-up window will be opened to transfer the request. After selecting the agent, she clicks on Transfer. To view the chat history, she clicks the View Chat History icon. Here, she selects the duration from which she wants to view the chat. With the Upload feature, she can upload an attachment for sharing it with the customer. Similarly, with the Download File feature, she can download a file that a customer has shared. With the Notes feature, she can take notes during the chat session. Here, she enters a note and clicks Save. She can also clear the content of the note or cancel it. To email the chat logs to offline help desk, she clicks on Email Transcripts icon. A confirmation message is displayed that the email is sent to the customer. She can also create a library of quick response messages to send to the customer. To add a new message to the library, she clicks Add New Message. She then types the message text and selects the category. If the category is not available, she can also create a new category. Now, to respond to the query, she types the message and clicks Send. The message welcome is now sent to the customer. We have seen how the agent can leverage live chat to respond to customer queries. In the next video, we will learn how a customer uses live chat to post queries.